I'll be traveling with Dave and also Terry and Scott. Yay, caravan! Are we ready or? Ready to roll. Roger. I've got the um, the gas station in my GPS, so I'll stop there first. Oh shoot! Dang it. <laughs> Guess it'd help if I put the key in. Auto start just starts it. Doesn't keep it rolling. All right, we're ready to roll. I checked the oil today, and it was about a quart low, so I topped that off. It is almost time for me to get my oil changed. So, actually, it might be right now I need to get my oil changed, but I'll wait till we get to our destination. And I do have to have the oil change stuff so I can do it myself, but we'll see if I feel like doing that. And I walked the circle around my rig to make sure everything was locked up and looking good. So I just have to stop at the gas station and grab some gas and some propane and I'll be ready to roll. I think our destination, the campground we're going to, is only 106 miles. Our final destination is Ajo. But we're not going to be going there today. There's another campground we'll stay at first. But just for a day or two. Hello? Your walkie-talkie button is stuck on. We oh. can hear everything you're telling your people. Ah. <laughs> can you, <laughs> Hello, people. Can you hear it now? Do it again. Did it cut off? Yes, it cut off. Okay, Roger. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome, Roger. <laughs> Momo's in her normal position. Oh, I know she actually got up. What? What's going on with you? No sleepy sleepy? <laughs> Alright, I think everybody's behind me. Okay, Google, what's the temperature today? What's the temperature? The temperature in Fortuna Foothills currently is 71 degrees. By the way, next time you can also press and hold the mic button on your steering wheel to ask me anything. So it is a beautiful 71 degrees today. In a quarter mile, turn left onto South Avenue 11 East, South Fortuna Road. Will do. And it is nice and sunny, no wind. Be a nice day to be at the water but it's travel day we need to go ahead and move on turn left onto south avenue 11 east south fortuna road
guys kept pulling over and I was like, just leave me, just leave me. <laughs> <laughs> and Terry was standing there going, if it was daylight right now, you would see that we're on the side of a giant mountain. Yeah. That's where we had stopped because I was having issues with my rig because that's when I was driving. Panda and Panda had issues going up hills too. She would get hot. Yeah, it was uh, south of Page or whatever, that beautiful overlook. But yeah. that's what hell of a mountain, that's for sure. It is, yep. Coming up on a rest area, but it is closed. Actually, a lot of things are closed. Uh, even the inspection station that we usually go through, it was closed. Close, close, close. Wow, there's a huge solar farm. It extends all the way down past where we're getting ready to turn, which is here at exit 102, the Painted Rock Road. But the Painted Take Rock campground is here as well. For Painted Rock Road. Wow, it just goes and goes and goes. A lot of solar panels. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Painted Rock Road. Right, here we go. I think we actually have to go by the solar farm. Painted Rock Petroglyph Site is also here. Turn left onto Painted Rock Road. Continue for 11 miles. So, yeah, it's about 11 miles down the road, and we should reach the campground. It's also the site. Painted Rock Petroglyph Site. A lot of green going on there. And on this side, we have the solar panels. I guess this is where it ends. We're about a mile and a half from our destination into a valley. Wow, look at that huge cactus. Alright, we made it to the campground. Painted rock. Take the next site. right, then make a U-turn. Okay, we're here. Boop. Oh, that breeze feels nice. So the petroglyph site, the sign says is that way. Uh, we're going to the campground, which is straight ahead. Don't you see my look up? So it says no through traffic, campground, oh this is group A right there, but the campground is this way. So we'll just follow Terry and Scott. They have dumpsters here. I think they're stopping to Check out the sign. All right, we each picked up our envelope and it's $8 a night to stay here. We're gonna go find our camp spot first and then we'll fill our envelopes up and put them in the drop box. Just if you see a spot for all of us, just pull over. It doesn't really matter. Okay, there's a bunch of open ones down here. We're on the Ho Ho Cam Loop. There's seven, eight, ten. Do we want to try to get some of these? We're just finding our spots. It's nice out here, nice and sunny. No wind, just a slight breeze. That's nice. I'm in site eight. I believe Terry and Scott are in ten. And Dave is a nine. I like these spots. They have fire pits and picnic tables. 
This one actually has two, but it was a pull-through site, that's why I chose this one. I didn't want to have to back up. Awesome. Bye, Mama. Outside. Good girl. We're not very far from the petroglyph site. It's the rock formation there. It's right in my backyard. <laughs> right, Mama? It's in the backyard. I haven't eaten all day and I'm starving, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix me something to eat. They've got these new American style pastas. It's the same thing as those packaged salads that come with everything. Now they're doing the pasta. I think this is pretty neat. It's nice, quick, and easy. It comes with everything in the tray. You just dump the tray in there and then pour the sauce over. You have a nice pasta salad. All right, let's see how it tastes. Mmm. It's a barbecue chicken. Nice. It already tasted pretty yummy, but I decided to add some grapes, a boiled egg, and some carrots into it as well. And gave Mumu a little treat. Well, the sun is almost gone. I'm gonna take a stroll up to the front because I gotta take Moo Moo for a walk anyways. And we're going to drop off the envelopes. I um, grabbed Dave's, he asked if I could drop it off. I told him I was walking up there anyways. So yeah, that's what we're doing now. There's the petroglyphs right there, no dogs allowed. We'll go and check it out tomorrow. They have restrooms right back there behind those RVs. There's a path that leads to it. What a beautiful sunset. I'm over here. Oh look, it's the dinosaur of the desert, the desert tortoise. Those things get huge. Wow, this sign is really faded, but they do have generator hours from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Pretty moo, isn't it? This is a beautiful time of the day. The sun is shining just on the mountains. This is the group A area where larger groups can be. Yeah, definitely more wide open. But we're gonna circle back around and head back to camp. That's the way we came from right there. So I think this just does a big loop and back around. And this is the group area B. There's a few vehicles back there. Definitely a beautiful sky this evening. So we're almost back. It's well, we got a little bit left to go. It's way over there. Good job. They have tons of sites here. This is 49 and it's empty. And eight dollars a night. That's really not bad at all, even though it is dry camping. Not too far from where we are, they have another pit toilet right here. And then there's kind of a cul-de-sac that goes around. And these are all handicap accessible sites. There's about one, two, I think three, if I'm not mistaken. Right over my shoulder here is site 37 and a couple more. And they're actually very huge sites, kind of pull through, which is good for if you have a larger vehicle, like a fifth wheel, or you're towing a trailer. 
I was like, how do I get over there? I think the road curves over because we're right there. Oh, it splits or does it? No, actually the road turns that way. Huh. I guess I can just walk through the wash. I'd hate to have to go all the way back up and then come back around. That'd be silly. I think I could just cut through right here. Oh, I gotta watch out for uh, scorpions and there's no snakes out right now. It's definitely too cold for them. Well, there we are right there and there's a road here. I must have, I don't know, taken the wrong way because this is supposed to loop around. Beautiful, beautiful sky. Relax there. I see my chair. I'm gonna enjoy this while we still have a little bit of light left. I've made me some coffee with chocolate in it, heavy cream and some milk. It's actually beautiful tonight. It doesn't feel too chilly. There's a slight chill in the air, but nothing too bad. Good morning everyone, it's a beautiful day. It's slightly windy, but the sun's out and it feels nice. I'm gonna have some breakfast and then maybe go over to the petroglyphs just to check that out. It's not very big and I, I don't think there are, are tons of them so it shouldn't take that long. But today I'm actually having an egg with uh, leftover hash browns. Actually, this is a casserole that I made into hash browns with potatoes, carrots, and also broccoli with cheddar. So we're going to stay an extra day, so we're headed up to the front now to pay. And I'm going to go check out the petroglyphs. Yeah, there are some of the petro- wow, that one rock has tons of them on there. Holy cow, there are a lot. So the sign says, who passed this way, but it doesn't really say. What does it all mean? Here's some information. So that's a rattlesnake. Deer, sun, snakes, man with interlocking hands, lizard, turtle, scorpion, another snake, sun, and maze. Here's some more information if you want to pause and read. So here's more shapes to anthropomorphous. There's animals, people, and zoomorphous. Lizard! So there are actually no dogs allowed on the trail here. So Scotty's gonna take Lulu back. All right, bye. It's okay, you can go to Uncle with Uncle Scotty. Member of the Lewis Clark Expedition, 1804 to 1806. Guess they came through. Pretty cool. Mormon Battalion, the Battlefield Trail. Stagecoach Ho! <laughs> Pretty cool. So the Butterfield Overland Route was, I guess, from San Francisco down into California, Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, the corner. And it split here and went from Memphis and then Illinois. Or, I'm sorry, St. Louis. I have more signs here. Tracks and traces. This is Yuma here. And this is where we were. The railroad train runs through that and all the way over to Gila Bend. But the Southern Historic Trail runs through it as well. This is where we are, Painted Rock Petroglyph Site. It's hard to see anything over here because the sun is on the other side. I'm sure in the morning when the sun's on this side, it would be easier to see things. But we're just gonna take a walk. It just goes in a circle. I mean, I'm going to take a walk. I forgot everybody else went on. <laughs> Blocked the sun a little bit, but I was trying to see if I see anything. I don't. 
Ooh, a barrel cactus. I see one tiny little petroglyph right there. Getting towards the sunny side, I was seeing if I could see anything. No, I think they're mainly on the other side. So this is the geology of the Painted Rock Mountains. Take a moment and look around. Oh, oh wow. So there's the summit. And then there's the magma chamber here, the central vent. So it's a volcano. This is the direction here. We have north, which is right that way. Northwest, which is the Oatman Mountains. And then we have west, which is Sentinel Lava Flow. And this way is east. Just peeking over the knolls are the Painted Rock Mountains. Here's some facts if you want to pause and read. The Gila River lifeline of the desert. The water was clear and paddable, flowing with moderate current, about 20 feet wide. The banks were fringed throughout with cottonwood and willow trees. Huh. I don't see no cottonwood and willow trees. <laughs> so here's some info. And here's some of the wildlife. Oh, gray fox. Pretty cool rock formation. I'm looking, but I don't see any. I think they're mainly where we first entered over here. Okay, now I can see them. There's a maze right there. And there's a bunch of them on top of the rocks over there and down here on these smaller rocks. Okay, there's a lot of them here. They're kind of hard to make out though. It's like they've been faded over years and years and years. Wow, some of them have a lot of them on there. See a person right there. A circle maze. Another circle maze. I haven't seen any snakes though. Huh. Oh, there's a snake back there. Cool. I think this is the closest one to where the fence is. And you can, I don't know, it's kind of hard to make out anything on it. Oh yeah, there's a person. Um, hmm. Ooh. Looks like a person with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight arms. Maybe it's a millipede or something. All right, and this is where we began. There's a small rock that looks like the sun right there. Another person. I see a snake way back on that small rock. Seems like they have several on one rock, but I guess through the years, it's kind of hard to make out. The detail's gone away. Well, that was interesting. Fun to check out. I think they have day use areas here. I'm not sure. I know camping is $8. It didn't say anything about day use fees, so maybe it's just free to come and visit. But they do have picnic tables and grills you can use. Yesterday I showed you towards the back the handicap accessible area, but they have another one up front here, which is pretty nice. I guess that's where parking is. Oops, the bush is growing. <laughs> and you can also, I guess, park over here. But it's nice that they have it cemented, the cement pad for wheelchairs. Nice. And this is camp site number two over here. That one was one. I guess you can share it. So Terry is cooking plant-based now, and she's made this contraption here, <laughs> which is, it looks like lasagna, but what is it? It's bean and rice burrito. It looks it's yummy. It's like a casserole. Okay. Yeah. So because I'm excited. My pan, my pan do, doesn't, my pan will only fit three burritos. Mm -hmm. So I just layer it. Sour cream. Sour cream. Yeah, all she had to bring her own sour cream. <laughs> yummy. So then on top it's a cashew cream sauce. So it, it, you might taste a little lemon. The recipe had 
a little lemon in it. Uh -huh. I don't know if I'd put that in there next time, but you'll you'll see. What? <laughs> Can I have the sour cream now? No, I haven't even used the sour cream. Next Hold time on. I'll make you guys some plant-based sour cream so oh. you don't have to put your own sour cream. Wow. Oop. And here you go. Mm. She just creamed herself. I didn't cream myself. I creamed <laughs> my food. Oh, what's all that? these chairs get all jammed together? What's happened? Oh my god, it's a sloppy mess, but it's so delicious. Is it mm. good? Mm -hmm. <laughs> First time I've made that. That's really good. Well, I like these kind of casseroles and stuff yeah. too. Yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, I got the lid. <laughs> <laughs> How did that happen? Oh god, Tasha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 